Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US there, they were running strongly yesterday. Uh, very, very interesting candle formation right here where it actually touched 61.78, was all the way down uh, at one point throughout the session. Things were looking really negative around about 58.73, only to end pretty much at the same price that it started at on the day. Now, we've actually had an attempt to again rally up higher this morning, but it's been pushed right back down again. As you point out, there isn't actually a huge amount of economic data today apart from a Reuters and University of Michigan com uh, confidence survey, which isn't expected to have a big impact regardless of how extreme the figure comes out as. So certainly 6178 could be seen as the next potential resistance level. Uh, most global equities are slowly ticking a little bit higher, but off their session highs, uh, probably in the middle, middle of last night. Uh, Asian markets coming off a fair amount uh, yeah. yesterday as well. Yeah, Moving on to the UK 100. Uh, we're on the wrong side of potential resistance at 62.16. Uh, uh, obviously, at one point, the U UK 100 was in very negative territory, uh, trading all the way down at 60.67, looking like it was going to be eyeing up at 60.19, which is the next potential support level. Um, and we are trying to sneak up a little bit higher there just now, but it uh, doesn't seem to have a huge amount of conviction uh, first thing uh, as we start trading today. Moving on to Japan 25, as I mentioned, it, it, it is down for the day, mainly because of the moves we're seeing in, uh, in dollar yen. So um, the yen is still strengthening versus the US dollar. Um, and I can see the other FX pairs as well are, are, are rallying against USD as well. So uh, that's adding pressure onto the Japan 25. Next potential support is at 14219. So actually having a look at that dollar yen chart, you know, things have been very negative the last couple of sessions. We keep bouncing around this 55 period SMA. Now looking at the next potential support at 104 spot 75. We are trading currently in the middle of two ranges. So you do have 107 spot 36 as potential resistance. And obviously 104 spot 73, uh, 75, sorry, as potential support. If we break and close below the 55 period SMA, we might re-challenge this level down here. The technical show there's still room for uh, further downside and the MACD is just about across the zero line, indicating more negative signals. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, we did briefly just trade below $80 here yesterday. Uh, the low was 79 spot 94. We've had a very strong rally of the back of that 80 level. So looking well better at $80. Uh, pushed up above uh, $84, only get pushed back down again. Right now, looks a little bit soft as we start the day in the UK. Uh, the strategic pivot level will be $84. Um, I'll be interested to see if we are able to break and close above that or not. Uh, and for as long as that remains unbroken, the pressure will be for a move down to 75. Um, moving on to gold, um, the dollar weakness has obviously added a lot of volatility to the yellow metal. Um, we are possibly looking at a potential level, uh, potential resistance level around about 1260. Uh, if you if you look at the bottom here, um, matter of fact, if we look at this level here, I can see that that's possibly this was an old support level that has been broken uh, and there's now, yeah, matter of fact, this does look like it's in play right now. Um, it looks to be to that 1242 is the potential resistance level that gold needs to break through um, before it can um, get a chance to re-challenge um, 1267. Moving on to Euro dollar to finish things up. Um, again, lots of volatility. Euro dollar was all the way down at 127.46 at one point, only got pushed all the way back up again. I guess the reality with your dollar is is that the, the euros is not strong enough fundamentally to really properly challenge USD, even if the USD is taking a bit of a back seat in the back of some US data uh, that we had there on Wednesday. That Thursday's US data was actually okay. Came in as uh, as expected. You had the um, you had the uh, jobless claims figures that, that, that came in pretty much bang on. And then obviously you had the uh, another um, confidence survey bit of data that came out that was pretty much within expectations. So not a huge amount we're seeing right there. And then moving on to uh, GP USD, the usual volatility spiked up yesterday, moving again lower today. Um, the potential support level one spot 60 or nine will be the level any traders will be looking at, and that will be the pivot for uh, GBP USD today. Economic data wise, we've got one more bit of data for Reuters University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey, uh, which will not be that heavily watched. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and set a, a recurring alert, and there is a high impact level alert. Um, it's just that probably not that many people are going to be paying too much attention to it because not it's not a massive piece. Monday, nothing really that exciting. German PPI. Tuesday, again, nothing really huge to get that excited about. Let's go on to Wednesday. You do have CPI for the US. Uh, so it's not until Wednesday next week. So you're kind of at the mercy of a lot of the technicals for the next few days. 
Um, keep your eye on the chart forum as ever for more uh, technical trade setups from our global analyst team and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.